Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 172. Today we showcase a mind-bending, jaw-dropping AI art generator called Midjourney. Midjourney is an art generator that uses text prompts to create stunning visuals in seconds. You can create almost anything you can imagine. It's all based on the prompts you supply and your creativity. Now this video can go really long if I want it to, but I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible. Let's look at some of the art that's being generated right now by going to the recent showcase. It's a collection of high rated community images created in the last day or so. Everything you're seeing here was created by AI using prompts. For example, this one, product photo, realistic, cinematic light, most delicious ramen, restaurant background. Pastel watercolor splashes Kali painting. The styles of art vary greatly from photorealistic, painting, 3D renders, to sketches, watercolors, like this one, an Easter theme craft fair with vendors selling handmade items. So how do we get started? If you click on sign in on their webpage, midjourney.com, then it's gonna take you in here to Discord. Midjourney runs on Discord servers. And if you're unfamiliar with Discord, it's a popular chat and video platform, a lot like Google Chat, but a lot more robust. It's organized by servers centered around points of interest and you often join them via a link. Anyways, to get started with Midjourney, you need a Discord account. So go create one. And you can do that by just going to discord.com slash login. And then where it says need an account, register, click on that. Fill out your email address that you'd like to use. Check that you're a human and they will send you an email where you can verify that this is indeed a person. Go back to their main page and click join the beta. You'll accept the invite to join Midjourney. After a brief Q&A period here where you tell it where you're from and what your pronouns are, you should be able to jump into the server. Now, when you get into their server, you're gonna to wanna to go to one of the newbie channels here and we'll pick this one. You can see that people are already generating things and you can see what kind of prompts they're using as well. And at this point, you can go ahead and start using it. Now, you have a limited number of credits that you can check by doing a slash command. It's slash info. Slash info will give you roughly how much time you have left and the lifetime usage. If you run out of the, these, this amount of time, this is basically kind of the processing time that it gives you. If you run out, you then have to start paying kind of a monthly fee, but this should be plenty enough for you to test it and decide whether or not you want to use it. You can see that people are already generating things here in this chat. There is a way to add Midjourney to your own Discord server, but that's beyond the scope of this video. So let's try typing in something like, I don't know, something really simple to begin with, like American breakfast. You don't just type that in there. You have to do a slash imagine and then click on the prompt here to send that to the mid journey bot. And then you can type in or paste your prompt. So I'm just going to do something basically there and I may have to accept the terms of service. I accept first time I've done that. And then it should, yes, I've joined it. There it goes. There's my prompt. And I'm going to just kind of have to deal with some of the spam that's coming over there. Uh, you'll see that it's currently waiting to start, but eventually it's going to put up my prompt here. Again, you're going to see a lot of other people's stuff here, but it gives you some good ideas of what you can type uh, to get some of these prompts. I'll explain these little buttons in a second. Now, one of the drawbacks here of not paying for this is that you kind of have to wait in line um, for a lot of these to start. So it may be a few minutes before yours comes up, but once it actually starts generating it, it's actually pretty quick. So when I said it generates it in seconds, I meant that it just may, if you're on the free version, take a while for you to get into the queue and have your image generated. Again, you've got 800,000 people on this server right now. While you're waiting, like I said, you can check out some of the prompts, like beautiful mosque of crystal in the middle of the forest. And then you click on it and see the details. You can even open it in browser and see where this person has upscaled it. Now, when I want to mention that you could get this on a different server um, you can, you can invite it as a bot. Again, you'll have to just Google how to do that. If you really want to do that, if you've got your own discord server, I mentioned that because I got a little impatient waiting on the, the newbie one there. And I added it to one of my own personal discord servers. Um, it uses the same amount of, same amount of minutes and, uh, stuff like that. So if I went to info, um, you'll see that it's eaten up some of my time. I'm done 24 minutes now. And so this is what it generated when I did the thing for American Breakfast on this server, just to make it faster. 
So that's, that's actually pretty stunning um, when you think about it. Of course, it looks very American. But I could easily do, you know, breakfast with toast and, and, and uh, bacon and things like that. But this, they made it like quite, <laughs> quite American looking. In fact, some of this looks kind of surreal. But that's a very simple command. It has to interpret a good bit for that. If I wanted to be more specific, I could do something like this, where I, I did beautiful hamster with beautiful background, comic style, anime style, illuminated artwork by Apophis, which is an artist that has a lot of really nice art style of cute things that my daughter uh, particularly likes. And uh, so this is, you can see it's very different. Now you get these thumbnails, right? And these thumbnails are designated as one, two, three, and four. And so you have these buttons below this that allows you to say, I want you to upscale one, two, three, and four. Let's say I like number four a lot. I can hit U4 and it will then start generating Q to upscale that one to be a higher resolution. I can also use the V to create a variant of that one. And let's try this one with number three. So it's working through these right now. It's waiting to start. And again, I'm on the queue because I'm not paying, but it's a lot faster of a wait here because I'm not on that newbie channel anymore. The time of day can uh, affect your render speeds a lot as well. It's just getting really slammed right now because it's just the hottest, newest thing right now. But you can see when they make variations, it's kind of interesting. They basically keep it the same. They use it almost like a parent and then they create four children off of that to give you some other choices and selections from that. Right, so there's our high uh, resolution uh, image of a futuristic sci-fi uh, ultra cute hamster with an interesting background. So what's interesting is the different styles you can render this in. Let's take something as simple as a, a cup of coffee. A coffee cup full of coffee, right? And then as Legos, sure. Um, and let's see what that looks like. While it's rendering, while it's doing that and queuing that, let's go ahead and do another one. Imagine, same thing, coffee cup full of coffee, charcoal sketch. And then maybe one more. Imagine, coffee cup full of coffee, embroidery. And, and just, I mean, like, take a look at some of this stuff. It's just crazy how different it can imagine this, right, based on your simple requests. And that's just... That's just a really simple prompt. Now it does do some weird artifacting here. Like it, it's again, it's not entirely perfect with some of these things. Look at the embroidery though. That that one is crazy. Let's get a high res image of that one. That's version three. Let's do a U3 on that. Upscale number three there for me, right? And while we're doing that, let's just check. Let's go info and check our um, our usage right now. So I've used about nine minutes, maybe 8.2 minutes of my free 30 minute time. So here's the pricing. The basic plan is $8 a month. That's if you pay yearly. If you switch to monthly, it's $10 a month. But with that, you get a roughly 200 images a month. So it's actually a lot when you think about it. Um, you may subscribe for just a month or two and just do a $10 thing, or you may go ahead and pay a year ahead of time. Um, the standard plan gives you uh, even more benefits. I'm not going to go into all of that. The big thing is that you, know, you can test this pretty good for 30 minutes, uh, which gives you about 20 renders on average. It lets you kind of see exactly what this does. But yeah, what are your thoughts on this? I, I, I'm an artist, <laughs> uh, among other things, and this is wonderful and amazing and terrifying to me. But I'd like to know what your thoughts are. Leave a comment in the, in the, in the comment box down there or respond to our email or something, but I'd much rather you leave comments in the comment box because that helps the YouTube algorithm. Uh, but what, what do you think about this? What, what's, what's this gonna do for artists? What's this gonna do for our, our uh, whole industry? And how awesome is it that, that, that computers can do this, right? And that you can just pay a little bit of money a month and you've got access to all sorts of art generation just by typing in what you want to see. All right, so hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. And if you did, hit that like button. If you want to support us, click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon to receive email notifications. Leave a comment down here telling us a little bit about what you think of Mid Journey. Share this video with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.